Safety is paramount when considering any drug for widespread use. The Phase 3 study also confirmed that 0.5 mg of dutastride was not only more effective than placebo, but was also well tolerated. Adverse events between the dutastride and placebo groups were statistically insignificant, and most were mild. However, sexually related adverse events such as sexual dysfunction occurred in 4.1% of the dutastride group. This rate is consistent with the previous studies on finasteride in male pattern hair loss or androgenetic alopecia. In earlier studies, higher doses of dutastride, specifically at 2.5 mg, were linked to a higher incident of decreased libido. So keep that in mind if you ever try to titrate up to 2.5 mg of dutastride. It may take some time for your body to adjust to that sort of dosage, but ideally with continual use, you should be fine. And just like I mentioned earlier, when it comes to your serum testosterone levels or serum DHT levels normalizing and coming back to normal, between 0.5 milligram to 2.5 milligram in those particular groups. After discontinuation, it'll take between 86 to 155 days for your testosterone levels to come back down to baseline and for your DHT levels to go back up to their original baseline. So keep that in mind because sometimes some of the side effects that people get when it comes to decreased libido and such, it's due to the aromatization of the excess testosterone that you may get when taking finasteride or dutastride, especially when you're taking dutastride at that high 2.5 milligram dose. When looking at the clinical comparison though, between 0.5 milligram dutastride and 5 milligram finasteride in a particular clinical study titled, quote, Comparison of Clinical Trials with Finasteride and Dutastride, unquote, by Department of Urology, Queen's University, Kingston, Ontario, Canada's J. Curtis Nickel, Dr. J. Curtis Nickel. In terms of sexual side effects, Dutastride tends to show lower side effect instances in its clinical trials than finasteride, so that's pretty interesting. However, statistically, both 5 mg finasteride and 0.5 mg dutastride have similar side effect profiles and rates. So even with dutastride lowering more serum DHT than finasteride, it still has a similar side effect rate. But again, to reiterate for the members in the audience who are listening to this video, if you look back to those phase 3 clinical trials, we can see that that dose of 2.5 milligrams of dutastride will yield a higher incident of decreased libido. So in conclusion, this phase three study provides pivotal evidence supporting the efficacy and safety of 0.5 milligram of dutastride in treating androgenetic alopecia. Dutastride's dual inhibition of both 5-AR isoenzymes, the type 1 and type 2, and there's also a type 3, but that isn't really important for the sake of this video. But this dual inhibition of both type 1 and type 2, and also a greater inhibition of the type 2 5-alpha reductase enzyme than finasteride can do, positions dutastride as a potential superior alternative to treatments like finasteride. You also have other obscure 5-alpha reductase inhibitors like pistaride, which I did a video on before, but also Hair Cafe did a, a better video on it, so I guess you guys should go take